Hi, in today's chapter we'll talk about the harmonic series. To explain what an harmonic is, first, we have to look what's a pure tone. A pure tone is a signal with a sinusoidal waveform. In the spectrum analyzer, the y-axis plots the amplitude of the waves, how loud it is, while the x-axis plots which frequencies are present, ordered from the slowest to the fastest, like the piano keys. A pure tone looks like a single peak in the graphic. If we choose another waveform, we'll see that other peaks appears. The loudest is the first harmonic or the fundamental. The rest are higher harmonics or overtones. The frequency of each harmonic is related to multiples of the fundamental frequency. Let's do simple math. The standard frequency for A4 is 440 Hz. Divided in 2 is 220 Hz, it's A3. Divided in 2 again is 110 Hz, it's A2. Again 55 Hz, it's A1. Let's take A1 as the fundamental frequency. To obtain the higher ones, we simple have to multiply the frequency by 2, by 3, by 4 etc. So, we multiply it by 2. 110 Hz is A2, the second harmonic. By 3 it's 165 Hz, E3. By 4 it's 220 Hz. By 5 it's 275 Hz, C sharp 4. You must know that this isn't the same, than standard tuning or equal temperament, where the octave is equally divided, between 12 notes. In the third harmonic, you can see that E3, is only 2 cents above the standard tuning. But C sharp is more than 13 cents below. In this graphic, the vertical axis is the frequency in hertz, and the horizontal axis, the musical notes. You can see the logarithmic progression of the blue notes, that intersects the linear progression of the harmonics. The red dots almost match the blue ones. This is an experiment to show how a signal can be broken down into a sum of sine waves. A saw wave is plotted with the same signal, but passed through a sharp band pass. So the filter erase any frequency above or below. We hear just the harmonics, and you can see that the filtered signal, in white, shows sine waves. Why we listen to only one pitch, if rich waveforms, contain several notes? Well, because we perceive the pitch of the loudest harmonic, the fundamental. It could be funny to sequence the filter cut frequency. So it's possible to make an arpeggio out of a single note. Adding sine waves to build a reacher sound is what additive synthesis does. In VCV rack there are several additive oscillators. Let's check some of them. We have Phaser by Nice D. It has different outputs to odd and even harmonics. The frequency of the harmonics are fixed to a tuning that we can choose. We also can choose the configuration of the wheels like a Hammond organ. The Clone of Plates, Macro Oscillator by Audible Instruments, has a harmonic oscillator between its many synth engines. We will show it with the Clone of the Clone, Paulette, because it's more graphical. To know the details check the manual, as Mutable Instruments modules are well documented. Additator by Bagadio comes with several controllable parameters. It could be long to explain them here, but it worth checking the manual. Addiction by Sonus Dept can control each of the first four harmonics, and its respective minor third, major third, and fifth. The first, the second and the third harmonic are octaves of the same note. The third harmonic is the fifth of the fundamental. Its minor third, is the minor seventh of the fundamental. Its major third, is the major seventh, and its fifth, is the ninth of the fundamental. Substitute by Squinky Labs has two oscillators, where you can control two subharmonics. 
you get subharmonics dividing the frequency instead of multiplying it. Div knobs are to switch between the harmonics. The harmonics can be fixed to equal temperament of just intonation. Limonade by Bidu is a wavetable oscillator. We sample different wave shapes and then we can manipulate their harmonic content. Jet by Autin has a mixer for eight different harmonics and we can select between three wave shapes. Add as an additive oscillator with mixers for six harmonics. Nizori modules have a warning that they need a sample rate of 96 kHz. Because we're using a different rate, we'll use Nishti's tuna to set the frequency knob to AC4. It has three modes, octave, major and minor. Subharmonic generator by Count Modula does what the title says. We input a saw wave, if we only leave the fundamental, it outputs the same frequency, but in a square shape. We can select the division and control the level of up to four subharmonics. So, a high note could end up sounding like a chord with a pad sound. With an LFO in the magic of Stormelder's micromap we can create an arpeggio. A Homburg's harmonizer has four mixes that are made up of four harmonics and four subharmonics that we can select. Think it's enough for today. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. If you want to keep this channel alive, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell.